Hi everybody, I'm Rafim. And uh, this is Levitron part 3, the part where I tell you how to calibrate the system and get it levitating and finish the series once and for all. So first, there's a few updates to the system. I actually had these three giant neodymium magnets as opposed to 25 millimeters. These magnets have a diameter of 36 millimeters. So they're significantly stronger than the other magnets which I used. So I figured I only needed three of them and I didn't have to bother, you know, sliding them around and all of that. So that's why I'm using these. So without further ado, since I've shared you all the updates and everything, let's just get into how to um, make it. So first, for in my last video, I left it off that I had put my magnets on. And uh, I had shown you this alignment um, photo. So here, when the top is levitating, the center of the magnet with this whole part um, is going to have its south pole facing up, and the end, the north part, is the gray chunk on the side. And so, um, you might be asking, well, you know, you said that the center part, well, the whole magnet is supposed to be repelling this top. Then, if the center is attracting, then why is the center attracting in the first place? Because the repulsion is what we need for magnetic levitation. Well, that is a valid question, but I have an answer. So first, when you've seen two magnets repelling, you would know that it's hard to even put one magnet on top of each other. So if this whole magnet was repelling this magnet over here, then first of all, I wouldn't be able to get a good spin on this base magnet and so well it wouldn't work because this whole property is mainly due to the spinning of the top and second of all the top would just keep flying away or it would flip over and attract like that so those two scenarios well are just scenarios where the whole experiment fails so what we're doing here is since the center part is attracting i have a chance to like spin this magnet on the center part but as i lift the spinning magnet up the side poles start to kick in and then eventually this center field would be muffled and there wouldn't be any field at all any attractive field at all so um totally everything works it's been proved so if you thought to question me think again so um yeah now that we've got that covered we first have to tackle the height problem. So, um, this is a problem which everybody faces when they're trying to make this. So, um, the problem is that sometimes the attraction between this magnet and the center is too strong. And when it's too strong, you won't be able to spin the top on the base part at all. And if it's too weak, then the attractive forces would have already kicked in and well just it would keep flying off and so that wouldn't work either so what we want is a point where the height is correct and that if you spin the top on the sheet or whatever material you think it can spin for like five to ten seconds on that piece of material so um in this case i'm using a few books here i have a slim book here i have a medium book and here i have a chunky book so um i'll start with the small book first so here's the small book so you can see it doesn't spin for 10 seconds yeah it keeps getting flung off to the sides Ish. so this setup doesn't work either so let's try the um medium magnets Give me a sec. Yeah, let's try the... I mean, sorry, let's try the chunky book. So the chunky book over here is... I think it's not going to work because, well, it's so chunky. But let's see how it goes. So I can't get a good spin on it. And as you can see, it's flown off. So the repulsive force has already kicked in. And also, a good thing is... This is an evidence that what I said was true. Because if there was no repulsive force kicking in, then 
there would still be attraction from the center it would have, and it would have been able to spin on the base magnet. So now, and also an interesting phenomenon, when I put this on here, it stands, oh it doesn't seem to stand up, but by me, so let's try the medium book now and see how it works out. And there you go, it's spinning. So, this seat works, obviously. So, I'll go with this, and this is the book I'm going to use. And as I mentioned here, the height of this book is one centimeter. But your magnet might have different strengths other than, like, the strength that my magnet has. So, don't go by one centimeters. If you'd like, you could use the one centimeter as a base, and you can try different books, which is over one centimeter or under one centimeter just so that you can like you know experiment and find the best height for you so this seems like the best height for me and i'll go on from here next i uh, i think i already covered the magnetic base everything seems fine so the weight of the spinning top so um the first result you're gonna get is probably that your top just flies off in one random direction like that uh so First, our goal at the end of this is to um, like increase the weight so much that the top flies off in one direction all the time and flies off slowly. So it flies off like really fast, and but it always flies off in one direction. That doesn't work. You're supposed to um, let it fly in one direction slowly. So the solution to that are the iron filings, which I have messed up over here so um, what you're supposed to do is in order to increase the weight just let some iron filings stick to your top so I'm cleaning some of this up right so I got some iron filings on my top and just in case to make this process speedier just by judging how fast and how st strongly your magnet is going off in every direction you can determine how much weight you need like if your top is moving slowly to different directions every time then you might need not so much but if it's like just trying to hit you in the face and it's going off really fast in every direction then you might want to add a lot of um, iron filings but just the process is the same every time you just have to add iron files until it moves slowly off to one direction. Right, so I think I've almost got it. I'm just going to add a bit more weight, just in case. So yeah, it's going off in that one direction every time. So then, now we've tackled the height problem weight of the spinning top problem whatever and then next is the calibration problem so this is a very hard part which took me like a lot of months to do so now what you gotta do is it's flying off in one direction right but how do you fix that problem and get it to stay in the center well so you're supposed to take tiny cardboard sheets or small pieces of foam or wooden planks and stick it under the base magnet so uh, my magnet is flying off in this direction so I might want to add something in that direction so just add weight add um well cardboard pieces stick cardboard pieces under the magnet wherever the top is flying off to so my top seems to be flying off to this direction so I'm sticking it under here if your top flies off in any other direction like here or here just stick cardboard piece under the magnet wherever the top is flying to so let's see what happens let's try it again okay right it's still going off to that direction if that happens, just increase the height and try it over and over again. Okay, 
so it's still moving off in that direction. Probably I could change the height of it and add this piece thingy over here. So let's try that. And so just like that, try experimenting with different things. So the result of the calibration part is that you get the top to levitate. That's the end of the calibration part. So first, you have to keep the top from going off in the one direction that your top is going off in. And once you do that, it should fly off in another completely random direction, like somewhere over here or over here or just somewhere. But then make sure that your top doesn't fly off in the exact opposite direction that you stuck your thingy into because that means that your thingy was too um, high and that the magnetic power is imbalanced and you need to reduce some of the height on this side. So keep experimenting with that. And then uh, if it doesn't fly off in the exact opposite direction that you stuck your thingy in and it flies off in another direction, then add something in the direction that it's flying off in. But keep the one over here and just add um, another thing in the direction it's flying off in so eventually you do that and you get to levitate that's the final result that's what i got okay so mine is flying off in that direction now so i add it here and so that's the process you take so um uh yeah that's it so i'll um show a clip once i i've done the process and finally, when I've done the process, it should levitate, and I'll show a clip at the end of the video of the top levitating. So, I finally got this top to levitate. Um, I had to cut some of this part because it's really hard to get this to levitate, and it doesn't just levitate in 15 minutes. I, I, I personally have had a lot of experience with this, and I've been trying for one month. And it finally levitated on March 4th. So that was a happy moment. But still, I've been trying for over one month to get this to levitate. And after all the fine tuning, I finally got this to levitate. So let's try it. Oops. Give me a sec. If you spin it too slowly, that's going to happen. So here it is, levitating. So, yes, I spent some time trying to do this, but I finally did get it to levitate again. So, there are actually a few factors which you need to consider when you're making it. So, when the air pressure changes, the top wouldn't levitate. When the temperature changes, it won't levitate because tops, I mean magnets, are sensitive to temperature change. If you put some other things nearby, it's going to mess up the fine balance and it won't levitate again. And so it may seem kind of overwhelming all the factors you need to consider in order to get this top to levitate. But in the end, it definitely will levitate. And trust me, you're going to be looking at the results for a really long time after you get it to levitate. So finally, we've got the top to levitate. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.